Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use offset function in Excel. Before I tell you about offset function, let me warn you that offset is a volatile function and if you apply it on large data sets then this may slow down your workbook because uh, offset function recalculates every time there is a change in Excel and this may lead to some lag in your workbook. Now let me show you how offset function works. I type offset and it takes five arguments. The first one is a cell reference. Second is the number of rows that you want to offset. Third is the number of columns you want to offset. And fourth and fifth arguments, which is height and width, these are optional. So any argument which is in square brackets is the optional argument. I will show you how this works. So here in reference, I select A2 and I say in number of rows offset it by zero rows and offset it by zero columns and I close the bracket and I hit control enter I do not give the fourth and fifth argument because those are optional and you can see this returns one the way it works is that it first it's there in A2 and it says sees these two arguments and it, and it sees that uh, in terms of row it should offset it by zero rows and zero columns which means that it should return the value of the uh, existing reference that uh, I've mentioned but in case I change this and I say offset it I use a2 number of rows is one and offset it by zero columns and I hit control enter here you can see that it was at a2 and I said offset it by one row so it goes to the row below it because it's offsetting it by one row I said offset it by zero column so it remains there it do not change its column and hence it returns two. now what happens if I say offset it by column I again select a2 in terms of row I say offset it by zero rows but one column and I hit control enter it returns a because the reference is for this cell it's not getting offset by any number of rows but one by one column so it moves to the right and it returns A what if I give both these values I select A2 and I say offset it by one row and one column and I hit control enter and this gives me B because it's here it offsets it by one row so it comes here and then by one column so it goes here and it returns B you can also use a negative numbers in uh, rows and column numbers but b make sure that you're not using a number which does not uh, give it enough cells to offset so for example let me first show you how it works I give B3 as the reference and I say offset it by minus one row and minus one columns and I hit control enter so here the reference is B3 and when I say offset it by minus one row it goes to the top instead of bottom and when I say offset it by minus one column it goes to the left instead of right since it's negative and hence it returns one but had I said that offset it by minus three rows it would have returned an error because it cannot offset it by minus three rows there are not enough rows to go up similarly it only has one column to go to the left it cannot go beyond that so be cautious when you use uh, the number there should be enough uh, rows and columns to offset and finally let me show you how to use uh, the last two arguments which is height and width so I select a2 I say offset it by zero rows and zero columns but in terms of height I say three three rows and in terms of width one column and I hit control enter and this gives me a value error but if I go into edit more and I select this entire formula and hit F9 you can see that this gives me this entire array which is one two three so let me do that again select oops select this entire formula hit F9 and this gives me one two and three let me press control Z to go back to the formula and I'll explain it here the reference here is A2 I say offset it by zero rows and zero columns so it 
remains there then I say that the total height of the reference should be 3 so it covers these 3 and the total column here should be 2 so it covers only this one if I change this to say 3 and 2 let's see what happens I select this entire formula hit F9 and now it returns this entire array which is A2 to B4 so it gives me 1 A2 B and 3 C so this is how offset function works while this gives you a value error you can always use this within formulas so if I use this I can use this within some formula and this would give me a value 6 which is the sum of these three values so this is how offset function works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day